guys, this is uh, Braj with Mass Faces, and here I am with, you guys can introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm AKA Carpenter. Max God. Yeah, and they're just here to talk a little bit about their upcoming album called uh, Seven Winds, and guys, is there anything you want to kind of introduce yourselves with, like who you are, what kind of music this is, what's going down? Uh, uh Yeah, so... Um, I think both of us, we've been, uh, you know, doing music um, for a little bit. We both uh, sing and rap and kind of do a style that's a mix of, like, you know, many things like, uh, you know, trap music, rock music. And this album kind of brings all of that together, and it's a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as um, as a producer, died and I sort of described, I had trouble sort of putting a pin on what exactly it was because it wasn't really, like, the typical, like, Rock, it's not like rock rap or like emo rap, like like the typical type of emo rap. Uh, he put like he said prog, like like prog, like prog rock and rap. So maybe that's like I don't know. We'll leave that to people who listen to it. You can like let us know what it actually is. You'd be like, oh, you fucking idiots! It's obviously this and that. Like, thank you so much. I have actually no idea. So, <laughs> yeah. And with a genre name. Yeah, and so where are you guys located? So uh, we met in New York City, actually, while I was uh, there studying at NYU. And then um, I recently moved back to Southern California. Oh, okay. What do you study? Like, does that interfere with the music at all? Or does it influence the music or anything like that? Mm, not really. Um, I mean, I studied, uh, like, media, culture, and communications. So okay. uh, that was, I mean, yeah, it was, yeah, it was cool to get to know, like, the, the media landscape a bit. Like, it got me a bit more interested in, like, social media and social media marketing it was actually like um it was actually a project for one of the classes that got me to join the group that i ended up meeting max in oh wow so or yeah that was what um, was yeah, that probably. group exactly uh it was called a it's called a young thuggle group shout out YTLG. Young yeah <laughs> shout out ytlg <laughs> but we really fucking love young thug and then um well, there was a uh there's a subgroup in that called like ytlg musicians so I joined that one too because like I had started putting out music a bit more seriously in like April 2018. So mm-hmm. it was in that group that I saw one of Max's posts and I noticed that he was in Brooklyn and I was living in like I was living in Manhattan like not too far away. So I hit him up like, "Yo, what are you doing? Let's get let's get to it." He's like, "Oh, I also live in Manhattan. Let's like up." And then we did, and then I saw his um. I saw a studio. I heard his recording process and unreleased songs, and I was like, "Let's go! Let's like let's get crack a whack in." And then, uh, yeah, Max, if you want to pick up the story from? Yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, you know what happened is that's how you know Ryan and I met, and the other collaborator who was working with us on this album is, of course, Died at Night, who is the producer and guitarist responsible for all the instrumentals. Uh, he's based in Russia, and the way he got involved is he was uh, listening to my songs on SoundCloud. And I have like, you know, SoundCloud analytics. So I was like, oh, there's this person listening to my songs a lot. Um, let me see who it is. And I looked at his profile, I listened to his music, and I'm like, yo, uh, his beats, his production, uh, it's all really, really good. Um, so I messaged him on SoundCloud. I'm like, hey, uh, let's work on music together. Let's collab. And he's like, absolutely. You know, I was thinking the same thing. So he started sending me all these beats. And then when Ryan and I linked up, um, you know, we found that we had an affinity out of the many different genres and styles that we do that kind of corresponded to uh, what he sent me. And we were like, let's just do a collab album over these beats. And then, you know, um, we all kind of got involved and have been working on it together ever since. Mm -hmm. It was actually really funny, too. Um, Died at Night hit me up separately. Like, I didn't know that he had talked to Max at all. Oh, wow. But I hit hit him up separately, actually. So Died at Night was also listening to a few of my songs. And I was (laughs) like, oh, this this seems pretty interesting. So I clicked it because his name seemed pretty cool. Like, ooh, died at night, mysterious, edgy, yeah. So I like clicked, I clicked it, and I heard the beats, and I was like, these are some good, there's some good little beats. And then I, I hit him up, and I was like, yo, I really like this one. And then, um, yeah, we got in, like a bit of a, a bit of contact in there. I don't remember whether he sent me that, he sent me that beat. I've got to record on it because I still don't think I have. He did send me it, but um, anyway, we did end up recording on seven of his other beats. So <laughs> he should be. Okay, there, but yeah, no, that was um, that was like kind of funny, and then I heard Max bring up his name, 
He's like, oh, yeah, he just beats him. This guy died. I'm like, wait a minute, you know died at night? And we're like, yeah, I know. Because he only, yeah, like, he's not, like, too, he hasn't been publicizing his music too much yet. So we thought it was wild. Like, we felt, like, already known him. And we were like, all right, meant to be. Let's do it. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Now, I had shit like that happen to me when I was studying abroad in Australia where it would be, like, I'd be listening to people with, like, a hundred, like, listeners or some shit, and then all of a sudden somebody that, like, I'm, you know, at a show with will happen to know the exact same artist that I'm talking about, and it's just, like, it's crazy how the world works sometimes, you know? But, um, so you've already dropped the one music video through us, uh, which, by the way, it seems like people are really, like, interested in, they're really liking it, and, you know, personally, I love it, too. So do you think there's gonna be another music video, perhaps? Is that something? Yeah, there's gonna be... Two, there's going to be two more music videos. Ooh. Is, is there any more yeah. information we can get, or is it still on the on the DL? Uh, so we already filmed both videos. So we filmed all three videos on the same day. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like an epic, like, 10-hour filming shoot with nice. Brienne from Zoomate. Uh, so we went to Brighton Beach in Brooklyn, and we went to, like, all the different scenic locations there. It had, like, 10 outfits on us, and we just shot a bunch of scenes and yeah. film three videos so uh yeah we're gonna be releasing uh two more yeah wow. we were really running around with, like bags full of clothes we did like a whole hike around the area that we were going to be shooting at beforehand too so we got there at like 9 30 10 in the morning i'll remember we walked around the entire area of like filming locations which is like a three mile walk and then we get there then we go back to where we started brian shows up and then we do all of that again, but, like, shooting the music video. Wow. Until As somebody who shoots music videos, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> like, that is so much work in a day. I respect you guys for doing that. <laughs> it was a lot. Like, cause, um, his, yeah, because, like, our schedules were, like, all sorts of whacked out. Mm -hmm. So we, we had, like, one day and then max fucking three videos. Yeah. Yeah. So... Being that you guys are on opposite sides of the country right now, are you guys ever going to actually perform these songs? Yes. Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. Like, uh, I'm either eventually going to go to uh, the West Coast or he's going to come here. Um, we absolutely need to perform them. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Um, is there anything like? Do you guys think that in the future there could be more collaborations between you two, or maybe kind of do your own things, or what? What are you guys thinking? I mean, I got a beat from this man, this man Deject, um, who I also know through uh, YTLG, and he, he said that he wanted Max on the song too. So. Oh shit! Wow, I'm just hearing about this now. But okay, cool. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm to hit him with the singer, yeah. No, mm -hmm. so I'll be pretty sick. And then uh, Died and I keep sending us beats too. Like he's been like doing his thing, like really working on his craft. So yeah, we'll probably end up on uh, some more of his beats, uh, some other beats too. Just like the groups that we're in online, like we've met a lot of uh, really talented producers, really talented artists. So mm -hmm. yeah. And was there like any, I guess, underlying message behind the album? Hmm. I think certain songs have underlying messages. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say the, the the album fits cohesively into one mood, but I don't think there's an underlying message in the whole thing. But I think individuals. What, what do you think, Ryan? Um. Yeah. No. Yeah. There's not really a any any sort of message like all the way through the whole thing. But mm -hmm. I feel like very like certain songs hit on very certain vibes which is why i kind of like i i like the title seven wins is specific like that's one like the name of the first song on there mm -hmm. but also i like, get seven tracks and it sort of goes in seven different directions uh it's like some of the directions closer to <laughs> one another than others but um yeah like still like like seven distinct d directions like seven uh yeah distinct ideas yeah in a sense people can or I take from other well, which is my way of saying that I did not put that much thought into the cohesiveness of the whole project. <laughs> but you know what? It all slaps. So that's what matters. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, there's been a lot of bangers that have really just essentially been freestyles. So, <laughs> you I mean, know. Like, this too. like, there were some parts that, uh, actually, the last part of, uh, or my, my verse on stolen art was freestyled. But, oh, uh, oh, yeah. We, 
Yeah, we but we wrote a lot of this too. Like it was um no, there was um there was some there was some deliberation in this. Not in like the not 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 like message wise necessarily, but like in the, how we execute this and like how we chose to convey ourselves mm-hmm. in each song. Very uh, was very deliberate. Yeah, and also to add to that, uh, this album came together relatively quickly because Ryan and I met online in like July, and he was leaving to LA end of August. So we knew we had like no time to do this. So yeah. in I think like three or four recording sessions, we recorded the entire album, and yeah, so it, it was pretty like fast. Wow. Yeah. No. Usually, usually shit takes a lot longer than that. I mean, I know some people who will, you know, they'll they'll have a general idea of when they want their album to come out, and six months later, they still don't have like a single thing out. So you know, the fact that you guys can work like that just shows that you guys are you know good to work together. But oh, okay. um, I notice that behind you, Ryan, there is what appears to be a cross. Does religion play any part in your life? Uh, it did play a part in my life, certainly. Um, it was um, I was raised Catholic, and uh, my family's still very religious mm-hmm. and all that. It's still um, it's it's still a part of my life in a certain certain extents. I would say um, I've, I've gone on to explore like different ideas in a sense, but um, I'm just I'm just thinking about whether my parents are gonna watch this or not and be like, oh my god, <laughs> but I got to, like I got a church like um, every so often, like it's still like something I something I consider, but um, yeah. Okay, and what about you, Max? Do you have any type of spirituality? I, I, I don't think so. Not I mean not I, I have my own sort of beliefs about life that has more to do with like like a Neil deGrasse Tyson documentary and like <laughs> particles and stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh but not 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 in not in the sense of like um a religion I would say. Okay. Yeah. And then if if religion's not really kind of what drives you cuz I know that that's kind of like a real d- big driving thing for quite a lot of people. I mean, if you look at just the whole world there's a majority of people who do believe in things versus people who don't but um what is kind of what drives you guys then uh for me personally i really like um perfection and just like mastery of things like i really like uh human potential what people can do so like with music i like pushing that you know as far as i can um really trying to make like you know immaculate works um, with everything else that I do, uh, I really enjoy the concept of like, how can I like achieve my full potential and like do this the best? So I really just enjoy uh, pushing myself and watching other people push themselves and watching people do incredible things. Yeah. And any any thoughts? Uh, yeah, man. Um, let me th- let me let me think about that because like it's been um it's been like quite a few like nights where I have sat down and I was like why am I doing like any of what I do mm-hmm. you know like, what is actually like pushing this whole thing forward but um I mean uh I would say that like the creation of art in general and just like things like write like writing songs or like designing like I've like designed like some clothing like pieces and then just like other creative stuff I do on the side like that sort of creative expression is just a very validating thing for me in this life in general I would say like um back in like high school like I did not like fuck with myself at all like I didn't have pretty much like any friends that like I had made uh on my own like I was sort of like uh yeah just like like people like kept saying like I was in the shadow of like my older brother or whatever Mm because like he was getting like Air grades and more friends whatever just like other shit like that and like i didn't really have any uh like distinct like this dis- like distinct like things about myself that i really enjoyed and like i didn't know how to start searching for that but then jesus came out and then i heard um, wow yeah. yeah and then i heard he was like he gave like surrounding that and i was like damn it like he really fucks with himself and like just him being able to like express these things like like if it's like gotten him to this point fuck it like let me try that sort of confidence so that was the point that i started making music but like that was like a point that was the point that made me like okay maybe i should just like just like fake like fake don't make it just like start like trying to like fuck myself like overtly even if i wasn't truly feeling it inside mm-hmm. and then it was that sort of confidence that eventually got me to like 
think about like how like other things that I could do in this life. So, like I'd always enjoyed music, and I'd always like I like there were like times I'd, I'd, I'd like picture myself on a stage and shit. But then it was like um, one day, like I was started thinking of like rhythms. I was doing, um, oh, I was I was I was swimming around in the pool. So I, I'm in California, and so I joined a swim team, and so I was I was going about doing the laps in the pool, and these and these rhythms started forming. And then um, I know this is a really wrong, long-winded answer, by the way, but I know I'm from going to round out. But um, yeah, the rhythm started forming. Like as I was paddling, and I was like, shit, like that seems pretty fun. Wait a minute, I should write songs. And so <laughs> I, the first song that I wrote was um, under the beat of, was over on um, the beat of uh, Yesterday by Atmosphere. I fucking love Atmosphere. They're great. They're also like this, uh, another group that like, really inspired me to like focus like on my creative voice and all that but yeah so that was so i just so i wrote that i was like wait a minute shit like that felt really cool like i created something wow like, <laughs> let me try it again and then i did i tried it again over um probably some other atmosphere but i don't fucking know but um <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, i did that and i wrote like um like indie folk for a bit and shit and just like and then I, well at some point i um I had recorded one song on my phone, like me playing a song on a guitar. Uh, it was called Words. And so I put that, so I had this song recorded. I kept listening it back. I was like, damn, this sounds pretty cool. And then one of my friends like, why don't you just put it out? Like, this sounds good enough to put out. I was like, yeah, sure, fuck it, let's do it. Turns out she said it was good enough to put out because she's really into like very like lo-fi acoustic sort of stuff. And this was literally just an iPhone demo. When I put it out. <laughs> song i was like oh this is great like 300 people listen to it even though like 150 of them turned out to be like people like my mom showed it. and you're like listen to my listen to my son's song you know <laughs> I was like okay whatever i was like i made something whoa and then um so i made like a couple and then um it was it is to answer your question it's that feeling of just like holy shit i created something like i put something out there like this sounds cool this made someone feel this way and I was able to create that and provide that for them. Mm -hmm. So it was sort of like just like offering people that, th that thing. And then I just have like letting them sort of take part in the joy that I get just from like creating in itself. Yeah. No, good yeah. answer. Um, and I noticed that you brought up like a lot of different artists that kind of, I don't know if I'd say inspire you, but at least affect you. Um, would you, uh, would Max, is there any artists in particular that really have done anything towards your music, your life, um, that have affected you similarly? Uh, yeah, a lot. When I was in high school, I was, like, listening to, uh, like, Korn and, like, Linkin Park or, like, new metal stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was, like, really, like, um, like, I didn't dress like a goth kid, but in my head I was, like, a goth kid, but then I was, like, trying to be cool, so it was just weird. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, and then, um, you know, like later on in college, that's when I was sort of like more into uh, trap music. And then also I had like a K-pop phase, and now I listen to a lot of Japanese music. Um, so like all of those genres and styles together really influenced me. I just want to butt in and say that I was the biggest hater of Japanese music for the longest time until I actually gave it a genuine chance. And there's like they've got some good stuff going on out there that's all i'm saying <laughs> no the same like every everyone kind of always assumes japanese music sort of has like that like you know like very like you know anime opening song like da -da 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 -da, you know like some shit like that instantly and thinking it's k-pop like or that. something yeah yeah but there's like some japanese artists that are like making some like complex ass music that's like really like groundbreaking in my opinion oh yeah uh, like not for anything the math rock that's coming out of there insane. fuck yeah holy shit Please shout out Fishman. They do their fucking thing. I knew Jabees. I don't sound like. I just don't want to sound like that. That's what, that's what Saw Baby told me, man. I hey. never <laughs> he shouted him out in Anime World. I was like, oh, so it's New Jabees. Perfect. Somebody needs to check that though, or I'm gonna look like an asshole. But anyway, <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about. That guy's great. And then yeah, um, yeah. And. Um, um, I mean, honestly, I think we got a good bit of content here. Is there kind of anything that you guys want to say to kind of wrap things up? Like, I don't know if there's like maybe like a quote or some shit or anything really. However, you guys kind of want to wrap things up. Um, 
think? Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think, I think, uh, you know, from from uh, to to kind of give some more um, information about this album and why I think it's pretty unique is that, um, you know, both Ryan and I uh, and Died at Night, we try to, you know, we really try to like push the genres that we're mixing, and I think the way that we've achieved it is that, you know, from our vocal styles, uh, when you guys hear the other songs on the album we kind of did like some shit that people I think don't really do these days with this kind of music. And then also died at night as a producer. Uh, I think he's, he's phenomenal because the whole time we were making this album and still to this day, he's literally like tinkering and fucking with all the beats. And when Ryan said like, you know, what if this is like prog trap? The reason why is because he put in a lot of work and variation and like crazy guitar riffs since these beats. So when you guys hear some of these other songs, you're going to see that like, he went hard as hell on the production, and we try to go hard as hell on the vocals too. So, I hope I hope you guys uh, are gonna hear some of that, you know, experimentation and effort we put in. Mm-hmm. And then um, I just want to say, I love you. I hope you're getting enough sleep. I hope <laughs> that you someday learn to love yourself because other people around you love you, even if you don't believe it sometimes. And hey, you know what? If they don't, I love you. And I am your mother now, and we're having pop for dinner, and bedtime is never. So, yeah, that's my that's my message. That's awesome. All right, and well, CL, CL loves you all too. <laughs> it has oh, been quite the time oh. with Mass Faces, Max God, oh, and AKA. It has been beautiful. So, <laughs> thank you guys. Um, Hope to see Thank you guys you. on that show whenever it happens. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alrighty. Peace out.